Hi everyone, Wonia Tebow here of Buckskin Revolution, coming to you live from my mother's bathroom. Totally kidding, this isn't live at all, I just really wanted to say that. So I am filming this in the bathroom because the bathroom has been a subject of big concern with the coronavirus, right? There are huge toilet paper shortages all over because people have been hoarding toilet paper, which I think is a fascinating social phenomenon because of all of the things to worry about in a potential, you know, massive shortage. I don't consider toilet paper all that high on the list. However, I understand that most folks aren't used to being without it. Here is something good to consider. The vast majority of the world doesn't even use toilet paper. If you don't have toilet paper or you're low on toilet paper and you want to conserve what you have, there are some wonderful strategies that can make a big difference. I like to use something when I pee. Helps keep me, you know, feeling clean and dry and happier and more lovely. And um, I like to use just a pee rag that I reuse. A lot of people kind of put pee and poop in the same category as both kind of dirty and gross, but it's not actually true. Urine is sterile when it leaves your body. It can become less sterile and gross when it sits around and you know, you get, get smelly and whatnot, but from when it leaves your body, it's sterile. So you can have a rag, but from when it leaves your body, it's sterile. So you can have a rag, wash it and keep using it. So that's a great solution for possible toilet paper shortages or just to use less paper in general. Now, poop, obviously that's different, right? Poop is not sterile leaving our bodies and there are potential pathogens and, you know, best to, to be a lot more conscientious of where we put our poop. So the system that I used for a long time when I lived off grid was I would have a little bit of toilet paper and I would wipe the first time with just a minimum amount of toilet paper and get off, you know, any solids or the, the dirtiest wipe with just a little bit of paper. And then I would take a piece of cloth and I would squirt some mildly soapy water onto the cloth and then I would use that to scrub real good. The soap and water is actually way cleaner and more hygienic than paper. Plus, because I'm using, you know, the cloth on my hand, I'm not actually touching my butthole. Now, you can do this without the cloth, and you can use just water and just wash your butthole with your hand and splashing water up there. A lot of the world does this. Also, bidets are a way to use water without using your hands. So let's walk you through the process. What I have here is just a scrap of an old flannel sheet that was kind of like my camping sheet. So you can see it was kind of ratty and falling apart. I tend to make them a little bit bigger to start because when you just do them like this, then um, without any hemming, they'll tend to fray a little bit and get smaller over time. But there's really no need to hem them because they're just for your bum anyway. So, you know, you can, you can crochet, you know, lovely lacing on the edges and use doilies and do whatever you want. But for myself, I don't, I don't bother getting very fancy for my butt wipes to each their own though. These very same cloths would be just fine for pee rags too. Usually this is, you know, maybe a little bit bigger. This is what I would carry on me to use over and over, but I'm going to suggest that you use a different type of cloth for your pee rags than your poo rags, just so you can visually tell. Flannel is great for both, but I'm going to use, you know, a different piece of material so that I can tell the difference. Like yellow daisies, right? Perfect for pee rags. And you know, maybe a darker color would be a little bit more visually pleasing than white flannel for your poo rags. Just saying. So now I have a bunch of these little cloth squares and I like to have a lot of them on hand, you know, ideally like at least 30 or 40 of them because it's nice to not have to do this particular kind of laundry all the time. It's kind of a weird load of laundry. And then I'm going to make up my washing solution. So I'm just going to take a little squirt jar of some kind and I'm going to fill it with water. 
And then I'm gonna put just a little bit of a natural liquid soap. I really like uh, Castile soap, like a Doctor's Bronner's, or this is a Trader Joe's brand of Castile soap. I really like lavender. I feel like nothing says clean and lovely like lavender. Sometimes the stronger ones, like the peppermint or tea tree or eucalyptus can be a little, you know, refreshing, a little stronger than you might want on your sensitive regions. So, um, you know, just be advised and go with what you like. You want it to be really mildly soapy, less soapy than dishwater or something because you don't wanna to have to rinse with water again. So it's just a little bit of soap to do the job and make it antibacterial. So just, uh, you know, probably like half a teaspoon in a container like this is fine. When I sit down and do my business, if I'm using a little bit of toilet paper and just being conservative, then I might take just one or two squares, do one little wipe, and then move on to this, or maybe just skip the TP altogether, especially if you don't have it, and then just a little squirt of that soap on your rag. So I have a bunch of these cloths and two distinctly different containers, right? So clean on one and it's a different looking container and dirty on one and I like to have a lid for their dirty one just because you know if you're coming into the bathroom for another reason it's nice not to have an open container of poop rags in there so a lid is my suggestion and I take them from the clean container squirt a little of my mostly water with a little soap solution wipe my butthole clean and then put it in the dirties container. And then once the dirty container is full and I'm getting down to just a few of the cleans, then I wash them with hot soapy water, totally hygienic, good hot water. You can run them through the normal wash cycle. You can wash them by hand in a dish tub or a five gallon bucket, and then you can dry them put them back in the clean container and use them infinitely. So super, super, you know, environmental and resource conscious way to actually have better hygiene than you would have with toilet paper, right? Maybe this will be your new habit from here on out. Maybe one of the gifts of the coronavirus is everybody having squeaky clean buttholes from here on out instead of all the weirdness that we get from paper. Just wanted to mention too that I am doing everything I can to empower people with lots of good knowledge to feel good and safe and healthy and strong. And I would love your support. Check out my website, Buckskin, Buckskin Revolution, for more great resources and also some products you can buy to help support me. Also subscribe to my channel and consider supporting me on Patreon, which is where most of my funding to do all of these videos is coming from. I don't yet have a booming channel, so I'm not getting income from these videos unless folks are supporting me on Patreon. So thank you so much, everyone. Be well.